just the person I wanted to see. Your lucky color for the day is red, and your lucky direction is south. Um, thanks for that. So, what should I do specifically? Eat red food and deploy south, probably. Should I make something for you? Oh, um, no thanks. I appreciate the thought. issues or dreams you had last night okay I don't have anything right now but you can come talk to me anytime you want to Yuito do you have a minute there's something I have to tell you what's the matter let's go to Masubi's I'll tell you everything there, about things I've been hiding from you. What was it that you were hiding from me? I couldn't tell you before, because I was scared of what you'd think of me. A long time ago, Togetsu ordered me to monitor your mother, Wakana Sumeragi. My mom? Yes. Right after she escaped from Togetsu, they sent me into Suo. I spied on her and reported everything to them. Her movements, her life, and her family. I see. That's why you knew about my childhood. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. No, I'm glad you told me. I'm surprised, but I'm sure you didn't have a choice. Thank you. I don't know if this can make up for it, but I'll answer anything you want to know. Hmm, let's see. Okay. I'm a little embarrassed to ask this. What is it? Could you tell me more about my mom? We didn't have time to really sit down and have a conversation when she came back. Yes, of course. Where should I start? From that romantic day your parents met? No, you don't need to go that far. How about from the time I was born? Let's see. You had to be kept in the hospital for a while, but you were such a cute baby. Your mother was always by your side, watching over you. <sighs> While you and your brother grew, I think your mother always sensed Togetsu in the shadows. Still, she continued basking you in love. Never showing any sign of fear or worry. She was an incredible person. Do you think you were watching over us like my mom did? Huh? Just... The way you were talking about it made it sound like you kept a watchful eye on us. I'm sorry if I was wrong. Hmm. You're right. I may have gotten a little attached. I mean, I've been watching your family for years. I still wish Wakana could have lived like that forever. However, I couldn't even imagine going against Togetsu at the time. All I could do was watch. You don't need to feel responsible for that. You're not like that anymore. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can forgive myself a little. Thank you. Well, thank you for telling me stories about my mom. Can I hear more sometime? Yes, anytime you'd like. I have lots I want to share as well. Like the first time you walked, or when your diaper... Hey, we don't need to go over anything like that. Do you have tons of embarrassing stories about me or something? Uh, 
Um, I'm sorry, Yuito. I pushed a lot on you without considering your feelings. Huh? What are you talking about? You know, like charms and fortune telling. I just wanted to become friends with you so badly that I went a little overboard. From now on, I'm going to do my best to be a motherly and trustworthy sisterly figure to you. I think of you as family, Yuito. I hope that doesn't bother you. Of course not. It makes me happy. I'm glad you feel...